Uh, on screen right now, we have the Senior Vice President of UOB and the Co-Head of FinLab. We are joined by Pauline Sim. Hi, Pauline. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Laurie. Hey. So uh, today, you're going to be talking about how to future-proof your business. And the right up here says, I'm sure everyone here is wondering, uh, what can I do to ready my business beyond COVID-19? And how can I put in place measures to ensure my business's longevity? And as uh, businesses transform experts, uh, the FinLab will show you how. And Pauline here is going to tell us of uh, how in terms of tech, mentorship and grants, and we'll be able to address all these urgent needs. So Pauline, I see you have your screen set up already. That's fantastic. Yes. Um, the, uh, the screen is yours. Okay, thank you. So thanks everyone um, for joining us for today's session. And uh, I'd like to thank Exabytes for having us today. Um, yeah, so I'll just dive right in uh, because I think some of you might be waiting for the lucky draw. Um, okay, so today uh, with me on the presentation, um, besides myself, I'm the co-head of FinLab. Sorry, uh, for those who are not speaking, can you mute your... your yeah. Um, I also have uh, Jamie. Jamie is the marketing manager of the FinLab. Uh, she'll be joining me for this presentation and also Jonathan, the program director of the FinLab. So after my session, um, at the end of the, the whole session, we have a Q&A and Jamie and Jonathan will be taking your questions. Right, so diving right in um, on the FinLab. A little bit about who the FinLab is. We are an innovation accelerator by UOB. So we are very much a part of UOB. Um, and we started late 2015. In 2016, we started with FinTech Startup Acceleration. So we ran Startup Acceleration programs uh, with the FinTech startups that want to expand into ASEAN. Right, and in 2018, we expanded our program to help SMEs who want to transform their business through digitalization um, through a three months acceleration program as well. Uh, and in 2019, we expanded the program to Thailand and Malaysia. So I'm not sure if uh, the connection is, is uh, great. I see the screen is flickering a little. Let me just switch off the video to make sure that um, everything is heard. Okay, uh, so through all, we have met more than a thousand tech solutions from 48 countries. Next. So this is how we help the businesses to digitalize. Um, when we ran the three months program, in the, throughout the three months, what the businesses will experience will be a, a period of uh, going through workshops. And the workshops is to enable them to get knowledge and know-how around innovation. And then the SMEs will go on to scope their problem statements um, and prioritize the top areas that they want to solve in order to bring the most significant impact to their business. Okay, and after they scope the problem statements, we will then curate and shortlist relevant tech solutions. Sorry, can you guys mute the... Yeah, okay. We will then curate and shortlist relevant tech solutions uh, that will be recommended to the SMEs. And once the SMEs have selected the tech solutions that they want to pilot or implement with, we will facilitate the tech implementation projects with the SMEs. All this happened during the three months program. And next... Um, so you can see on the screen, these are the businesses that we have helped in Singapore, Thailand, and Malaysia. Uh, we kicked off the Malaysia program last year, and it's called Jom Transform. I think many of you might have heard of the program. Uh, and in fact, late last year, we brought everybody together from the region uh, for a networking session uh, in, in Singapore. So uh, here are some pictures. Um, so you can see the program that we ran last year was in partnership with many of the local partners. Uh, there was SME Corp. Uh, Mata, Maxis, MDEC, and KL, uh, KLSCCCI, the Chinese Chamber in KL. Right, so then uh, we kicked off with uh, events last year, and there were many, many attendees there. Um, all in, we have received uh, many SMEs came forward to us, told us they were interested to digitalize. Uh, ultimately, we selected 16 SMEs to go through the journey with us. And next. And uh, in the GIST, this is what we do. Uh, the SMEs that go through our program, uh, they are exposed to technologies uh, and innovation, and they learn how to self-innovate. Because you, as an SME boss, you want to be able to know how to navigate your business in the coming years with all these changes that's happening very quickly. Um, and throughout this COVID, I think you know, every, every one of us have learned that um, we do need to be future ready. We do need to uh, know how to strategize our business uh, properly to capture the digital opportunities and be ready when change comes. 
right? So um, the program actually enables SMEs to learn how to self-innovate. Uh, and you don't have to rely on consultants all the time uh, when you plan your business. Uh, so this is part of what the FinLab delivers through the program. Um, and then it comes with also access to innovative tech solutions that's out there that has been curated by the team and also support in the implementation. Because very often the implementation is where uh, a, lot of a lot of SMEs encounter challenges. There's inertia, there's a change management that needs to be managed, right? So these are, the, these are what we support the businesses uh, with, and you can see that on the left. And on the right, uh, we also have that connection with the tech solutions and the tech ecosystem. Uh, so the tech solutions, they will apply to our program. And from there, we will select the ones that have SME solutions are relevant to the SMEs in our program. And then we match the relevant tech solutions with the SMEs. So in a, in a way, it's matching the demand with the supply. Uh, and through that, we support both communities, both the SME as well as the tech uh, solutions. Next. So uh, we would like to play a video, a short video now. This is a glimpse of uh, what the Malaysian participants went through, both the tech solution providers as well as the SMEs. So we'll need the sound for the video. Sorry about the technical issues here. So today we have launched the FinLab Job Transform program in Malaysia. A few months ago, we had launched the FinLab Thailand program. And last year, we had run our uh, business transformation program in Singapore. In a way, we have actually uh, brought the program to three cities. Uh, we can now connect the participants and the tech solutions uh, that we've reached out to in these three cities uh, and bring them all together. Digital and digitalization is a word that is big, but not all of us are born digital. And because we are not born digital, and we have to become digital and we have to adopt digital in order that we don't get left behind by Industry 4.0. The workshop has been eye-opening and also very interesting. It's led us to think about you know, our business model to, to really rethink it uh, and also to think about the ways on how to transform the business. series of workshops are uh, fantastic, very in-depth now content. Digital marketing and branding uh, offers me uh, a different perspective, deeper understanding of branding. Definitely you know, provide me the knowledge gap and to move forward. The main key challenges for us in our innovation and technology adoption journey is a lack of expertise in our company in going digital. Technology is moving faster than ever before. Our management is lack of exposure to pick the right vendor as well as implementing the technology. The best thing is that uh, the SME is not a big thing. It's not a big thing. เล็กจนถึงใหญ่ไปเลยนะ
Right, so I hope uh, all of you enjoyed the video. It was a, a overview and a snapshot of what the participants went through. Um, the whole journey, you can see, you know, the cars moving through the months. Uh, can we have back the screen again? Next, next slide, please. Yeah, so um, here you can see the SMEs that join our program and they were from various uh, industries. Um, so we do not confine uh, the program participants to any particular industry. Uh, in fact, when we looked at the SMEs that were uh, coming to the program, uh, we looked for SME owners that uh, really wanted to digitalize their business, but are looking at a way to start. Uh, so the open, willing and able mindset uh, needs to be there. And, you know, I think, and this was last year, but now I think after the, you know, all of us uh, has gone through our movement restriction uh, uh, in various cities, um, I think all of us are, are indeed very much wanting to digitalize, right? And uh, this is the one thing that we have seen um, SMEs go through, um, a huge mindset change. And next. So um, as early as uh, late last year, you know, when we looked at and we engaged all the SMEs that came forward, um, we really wanted to help many more that want to embark on this journey. Uh, so we conceptualized the FinLab online and in the midst of planning it, uh, we had COVID and we accelerated the, the platform build. So we're happy to uh, announce and share that the FinLab online is now ready um, and any SMEs that want to take that first step or want to accelerate your digitalization plans, uh, we welcome you to come to the FinLab online and join the community. Uh, and I'll share in the coming slides what you can stand to benefit from joining the FinLab online. Next. So earlier I shared the three months journey that the SMEs went through. Um, and what we have done with the FinLab online is really to crystallize the different parts of the journey that were of the biggest value to the SMEs and the insights and the learnings that we have had running the programs in the region. Uh, we have then put it uh, online uh, through learn, match and implement. So it's a very similar three-step process uh, that an SME going through the FinLab online will get. Firstly, learning will be done through webinars, through infographics and guides. Um, and this will be including sharing by the SME participants themselves. And then you will also craft and refine your problem statement, prioritize, uh, and then you will come and let us know what are the areas of technology you are looking at. And from there, we will still curate and shortlist solution partners uh, and match it with your problem statement. So we do this through a very guided approach for the SMEs. We have created several tools. Uh, back to the earlier slide, please. Yeah, we've created several tools uh, that the SMEs can use to, to refine their problem statement. And of course, once you select the technology, we will help you in the implementation. Next. So overall, these are the features you can find on the FinLab online. Uh, tools, content, resources, clinics, and webinars. I'll go through each one in detail. Next. So under content, we have a various series uh, of sharing by our, by our uh, community and our partners. Uh, the mentoring leader series uh, will be series by our mentors um, who will then talk about the domain areas uh, around topics that are relevant to businesses today. So we have kicked off uh, one series which is called Change Management uh, because we know many SME bosses right now have to um, you know, manage change within their companies with their staff, have difficult conversations and see how do you navigate out of this uh, crisis. So the Mentoring Leader Series is right now in the midst, uh, it's ongoing. We'll share the sign-up code at the end of the session. Uh, and guest columns is where our partners uh, and opinion leaders come in and share insights around digitalization. Uh, and number three, Becoming Giant series is where we have the personal stories of the SMEs that have gone through this journey. So uh, here, this lady is actually Tina. Uh, Tina is from Stratos Consulting, one of the SME uh, in Malaysia. Uh, so she, she has shared uh, one of the story about how she has decided to teach and train the team uh, even during COVID. Uh, and why this investment is worth it. So we have various other uh, such stories on the FinLab online. And number four, Fueling Businesses series, uh, where the FinLab team has put together several guides, uh, such as infographics or articles, to help you get through uh, and get knowledge around innovation. Next. 
So under tools, um, these are where we, the FinLab has uh, designed tools to guide the SMEs. And this is through the experience working with all the SMEs in the region. Um, so we have designed a Know Your Business tool. Uh, essentially, this tool helps SMEs to review your current business model. And then once you review it, you will identify the gaps and the opportunities in the business model and strategize on how you want to move ahead. Right, so Know Your Business tool, um, we welcome everybody to come. Uh, it's a combination of webinar and guided questions to help you map out the business model. And DSA, which stands for Digital Solutions Advisory, uh, it is a tool that helps every SME to fine tune and scope the area that you want to start with when you talk about digital adoption. So this tool uh, guides and helps you to refine uh, your starting point. Under resources, um, this is where we share, um, you know, content from our partners. Um, and there's a lot of good uh, content online out there. Uh, and we will pull these resources together. And one of the, the content that we will share is also on digitalization grants, uh, which I think is top of mind for many SMEs today. And then number two, we have tech discounts and bundles. Uh, we have to work with several tech solution partners uh, over the years and seen them deliver uh, well. Uh, to our SMEs. So these tech solution partners with a uh, good track record, uh, they have also kindly offered um, exclusive discounts to the FinLab community. Next. Um, and clinics and webinars are where, you know, we want to engage and interact with you. Um, basically, we have info sessions with the FinLab team. Uh, and this is throughout the journey of implementation. If you have any questions or challenge, um, you know, we welcome you to join the info session. Uh, and we also host a monthly tech showcase session where we invite innovative tech solutions to come and share what they have for the SMEs uh, so that you know as an SME owner you are exposed to what's out there um, through the webinar you can see what are the areas that you can actually use what are the solutions that are already ready for you to use uh, so that you can grow your business or improve your uh, the productivity next yeah so um you know as one of the um collaboration that the finlab uh, and UOB Malaysia has, uh, we also want to bring you through uh, an interesting collaboration with Exabytes. Uh, and I'll hand over right now to um, Pek Chu. And after this, we'll come back and then we'll take the questions that you have on both the program uh, as well as uh, this, this particular sharing by Pek Chu. So thanks, everyone. And Thank you, Pauline. You. Mm. Thank you, Pauline. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pek Chu here from Transaction Banking. Uh, uh, next slide, please. All right. So um, in Malaysia, while well, we are actually moving to this uh, recovery of movement control st order stage, so um, in UOB, we actually have a ready bundle to support all our SME customer and we are actually uh, ready to help our customer to move the business online. So uh, in this collaboration, we are actually working closely with Exabike as well as IP88. In UOB, uh, we actually have a SME uh, bundle which is a current account that comes with interest as well as uh, turning your transaction into a saving. So while the collaboration with Exabike is actually um, the commitment is that we will help our customer to move their business into to online in just three days time. At, in addition, we actually work also together with IP88, which is actually our payment gateway uh, uh, support, uh, I mean the partner, where actually to help to complement the entire uh, workflow, the ecosystem to move our customer online from, uh, from the brick and mortar business to the online perspective. May I have next slide please? So in collaboration and support of this uh, entire collaboration, transaction banking will be the core in terms of supporting our customer day-to-day -day operational needs. And in, in transaction banking, cash management is actually the tools that actually help our customer in terms of collections and payment. Um, other than the current account, we actually help our customer to automate some of the processes that help to remove away the manual tracking, the manual uh, support that require from the small SME. And we also encourage and would want to support our SME to move all the transactions online and the business banking internet bank, uh, platform would be the tool for all our uh, SME customer to uh, ready to be used. While we also have a uh, uh, trade finance, which actually support our customer in terms of working capital needs, 
as well as uh, financial supply chain management that's help our customer in terms of vendor financing and distribution financing. Next slide, please. So in cash management, uh, in this current uh, pandemic, conserved cash is actually the king moving into our MCO period where we will need to make our business um, to conserve cash while actually um, we need to think of the way what is the solution that we can do in terms of moving the operation into online or electronic manner. So in this diagram, just would like to walk through all of you is basically um, Basically, in a normal business environment, when, when the company operates, you definitely would actually make the purchases and from your supplier. From the supplier, uh, from the company's perspective, when you make the purchases from supplier, you definitely would require to make payment. And in, in back then, um, perhaps a lot of SME could be still issuing a piece of check to make payment to the supplier. While uh, moving forward, we actually... Uh, have a ready solution for all our SME customer where you can move the payment into online by just transact all the transaction via IPG transfer, do it now as well as run that transaction. And in terms of the businesses actually uh, turn into sales and definitely there will be a collection from their customer. From the collection perspective, customer may sometimes always uh, having a problem, say for example, that they uh, have been receiving a lot of money or a lot of cash or a lot of transactions. And in this scenario, they actually do not know who is actually making the payment to their account. So in cash management, what we, our objective is actually help the businesses to manage the cash flow via the improved revenue and uh, collections and payments of the expenditure. Next slide, please. Um, the, the next, the, this slide is basically would actually bring to the attention to every one of you is that in every of the the challenges there is actually a breakthrough in terms of the, uh, the if let's when you operate a business they are actually the three main bucket that you would actually need to look into account services whereby you as a business owner you probably need to actually identify or you want to know uh, on the go that what are the cash that i have in hand and what are the tools behind in uob that we can support you and um in, in terms of receivable pillow, you may also uh, wondering like, how can I actually collect better? How do I actually uh, remove the manual tracking? And how do I actually also reduce the risk in terms of collections perspective? While payable, you also think of a way, how do I actually remove or, or take away the manual check issuance and how can I actually make the business uh, into online. So with this, actually, I would like to uh, uh, walk you through with a video in transaction banking, what kind of solution that we have. Um, may I have the video, please? Thank you. Hi, sorry. Um, there's some issues with the video. Um, yeah. Um, give me a minute. Of course, we can give you a minute. No problem. Uh, while you fix that, might I just remind all our participants here that we still have some webinar contests you can take part in. Uh, we will have our lucky draw right after this, and uh, and of course we have our panel discussion and another lucky draw after that. So in the meantime, I might just remind you that we have our share and win contest. Now, our share and win contest is pretty easy. All you have to do is head on over to Facebook and share this live stream. Uh, don't forget to tag three friends and make sure your post is set to public. And don't forget to include the hashtags uh, SME Digital Fest, Exervice, and Grow Digital. 
And uh, the cut off time is at 4 p.m. So don't forget to do that because each person who shares our live stream today will be taking home 50 ringgit worth of exabytes credits. And we also have our uh, top 10 contest. So basically, we're going to be giving the person who engages the most with us throughout the entire day with the most amount of enthusiasm and positivity. And uh, we're going to be giving that one person 100 ringgit worth of exabytes credits. And of course, while we're doing this, I just like to thank the members of the audience. You've been amazing so far and very, very helpful. Um, I don't think I've seen any complaints so far for today. And I really like, uh, on behalf of Exabytes, we just like to thank you for that because uh, so far all the information they've given us, all the feedback has been absolutely helpful in terms of uh, video and audio and how we can really improve your experience here today. And I know we've had a couple of uh, technical issues and we just have to thank you for your patience. Once again, you guys have been fantastic. And uh, yeah, I think we've got our screen back on. Let's see if the video is working right now. Let's have a go at it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So um, this is Jamie from the Film Lab. So um, thanks, Pekchu, for your presentation just now. Um, actually, um, we actually, you know, want to thank everybody, you know, for actually, um, you know, tuning in for this session. So um, I believe Pauline earlier actually shared about the Film Lab online and, you know, the various schools and uh, events that we actually have. So actually over here, we have actually um, our upcoming event that's happening um, on Thursday, 9th of July. So that's our next event that's going to happen on the FinLab online. So this um, session is actually a mentoring leader series by Peter Ong. He's actually one of our change management coaches and he's actually going to be um, talking about, um, you know, the, the crisis that is the, the, the pandemic, right? The COVID-19 pandemic and how actually we can accelerate the development of your next and line leaders. So um, other than yourself, you know, as, as a manager and all that, could you, you know, help your whole team um, rise up to this occasion. So um, this is the episode six of the Opportunities Unusual series by Peter Ong. So um, if you're interested to actually um, join us for this session, um, do sign up um, with the link uh, down below. Uh, otherwise, you can scan the QR code. Um, Peter actually has nine sessions in total. Um, so for the other uh, five sessions that actually happened before, if you have missed it, not to worry. Um, we actually have... Um, you know, a list and a repository of all the um, sessions, um, the, the webinar sessions on our website as well. Um, and on the other hand, um, uh, Peg actually shared about the um, UOB promotion just now. So on the Move Your Business Online, um, the partnership between UOB, Exabytes and IP88. So if you're interested um, in this um, particular promotion, um, do sign up with the link over there. Otherwise, you can actually um, scan the QR code. So... Yeah, so if you're interested to find out more about the, the FinLab online or actually you immediately want to just sign up right now, um, you know, feel free to actually scan the QR code over here. Um, otherwise, you can visit us at www.thefinlab.com or if you'd like to sign up directly, you can use tinyurl below, tinyurl.com slash the fin, uh, TFO um, dash sign up. Yeah, so... 
Um, at this point, I guess um, we can move to Q&A. So um, I'm just wondering whether um, anyone has any questions um, for the Finet team um, as well as uh, the UOB team from Pick True side. And I'm not sure the MC you need to um, take over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, we don't have any questions. Oh, one just came in. <laughs> okay, so this question is, how does FinLab Online make money? <laughs> Great question. Um, yeah, so, um, so the, the, the FinLab Online actually, um, we're not here to, to make money. We actually, when Pauline actually, you know, um, started off a presentation, right, she actually talked about how um, the FinLab Online is, uh, is an accelerator. So we're actually mainly here to help um, businesses grow and we're helping them to grow in obviously a variety of ways um, through increasing, um, um, you know, um, their, I would say their footprint out in, in ASEAN and to actually help them digitize their business so the businesses themselves can grow. So we are essentially not, um, I would say, uh, you know, a profit-making unit, but we're actually there to support the community. We are ecosystem um, um, builder in that sense. Yeah. Okay, I hope that answers your question. If everyone else who has any more questions uh, regarding this topic in general, just go ahead and leave them in the Q&A box. We're going to give them a little bit of time now. Uh, so far, we don't have any more questions. <laughs> okay. So, Jamie, what do you do exactly? Um, <laughs> what do I do exactly? Waiting. Yeah, since we're waiting, we might as well get to know you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, I'm actually the marketing manager um, at the FinLab. So, um, um, the, the whole team, I mean, has been working very, very hard, um, actually with, you know, building the, the, the FinLab online platform. Um, so essentially, I mean, uh, we're very, very happy to be part of, um, um, this, uh, SME Digital Fest, right? Um, and this SME Digital Fest really, um, came in very, very timely because we actually launched, um, the FinLab online platform, um, a week or so ago. And, um, it was, uh, actually pretty well received by, um, the Singapore media, but I mean, that's on the Singapore side, but on, on the Malaysia side, I think we're, we're hoping to do much more um, with this FinLab online. And um, I mean, we might have some exciting stuff um, planned um, in the coming months or so. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not able to share that at the moment, <laughs> but um, for anybody that's interested in terms of uh, digitalizing their business, um, Yes, do you know follow our follow our Facebook page. Um, sign up as a as a member on, on the TFO. Um, I guarantee you that if you're looking to, to digitalize the business, that we will have something, um, up and coming in the next few months or so. Yeah. Darn it! I was gonna ask you whether you could reveal or give us a little sneak preview, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, this question just came in from uh, Lim Y.E. Now, in the thin lab, selection processes when matching... Sorry, I need to read this correctly again. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the thin lab, selection processes when matching to approved solution providers, uh, will we be able to see uh, the review vendors list and pricing price confirmation? And will there be an extended loan for application? Mm, great question. So, I think for, um, you know, the, the, the list of tech solutions, we actually have listed them um, on the tape, on on the TFO website and we actually listed down, you know, what's the discounted pricing that you would get from there. So um, through the TFO platform, you will be able to get um, definitely special um, pricing. Um, the question on the loan um, as well, I believe um, um, maybe pick through or my colleague um, from any of my colleagues from the UOB side, whether you're able to actually jump in and actually um, share whether there's any support in that area. Absolutely, you're welcome that. So if anyone can uh, answer that for us, that'd be great. Hi, Pichu here. Mm -hmm. Hi. Maybe if I may just take these questions. Um, yeah. In regards to the uh, support in terms of extension of the loan um, in UOB, as I um, just shared uh, during my presentation earlier, um, we actually have an a, a end to end solution coming from the account perspective as well as the working capital perspective. We definitely uh, would actually uh, keen to uh, support all our SME customers, especially coming from the, the, the community of FinLab online customer group. It, that's it. Uh, that's, that's I answer your questions. Uh, 
Um, I'm pretty sure it does. I hope so. But it's okay. Uh, uh, Lynn, if you have, uh, if you need more clarification, I think feel free to give them a message. Drop them a message. And I think really that way you can go in depth into what you really want, to, would like to yeah, know. Per, but, uh, thank per, you so much. Yeah, yeah Lauren, perhaps uh, if I may just uh, advise uh, yeah. YE, right? Uh, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, you may actually also reach out to us via the link that we provided earlier so that we can actually reach out to you to actually uh, to, to discuss further. Yeah, okay. Why well, says, yes, thank you, Pekchu. Thank you, thank you. All right, lovely. So this next one comes from Michael. Now, Michael would like to know, are there any requirements to meet before joining the program, especially as this is an early uh, stage startup, such as certain business entity types perhaps? Hi, hey Michael. Um, thanks for the question. Um, actually, in, in, in terms of uh, stage and all that, um, we actually um, don't really have a limit on that. Um, we actually welcome SMEs, um, actually tech solutions, sorry, tech solution providers um, of, of all kinds, so long as, as you have actually piloted um, your solution with um, any SMEs before. Um, yeah, I mean, feel free to, to submit your deck. Um, um, I know, um, you know, certain um, platforms and all that might be a bit like, huh, okay, you know, um, would you be, you know, would you select me and all that? For us, it's really um, for the SME owners themselves, right? It's the comfortability. And to be honest, in, in our previous program um, in Malaysia last year, um, we actually had a few um, SMEs uh, take on um, this solution uh, called NovoCall. So NovoCall at that point in time, they were still considered a startup um, and they were, pretty small they were in you know um very very early stage uh is a the early stage startup but still the SMEs took on the solution because they found that um it was useful and also you know the year before um this particular solution novo call they actually were part of our 2018 uh singapore program and it was there that they actually um actually met with one of the SMEs in our program and actually the SME actually piloted that solution as well yeah so not to worry if you're an early stage startup um do just drop in an application um, for the program. Yep. Absolutely. Just do that way up. I'm pretty sure things will be all right. Okay. Our next one comes from Leo. Now, Leo would like to know, what is the requirement to sign up? Hi, Leo. Thanks for your question. Um, requirement to sign up as um, a SME or a tech solution provider? Um, in any case, if you're, if you're an SME that's looking to sign up for the program, um, Actually, it really depends. Um, we're actually looking for SME owners that are definitely open, willing, and able. That's the, that's the, at the very, very least, um, the one that we're looking for. So, um, well, the program is not um, open um, for this year. Um, there will be some exciting things that are coming up. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But um, if you're a tech solution that um, uh, you're looking to actually sign up uh, to the TFO platform, um, just uh, actually pop in your your... PowerPoint slide in your deck uh, on your solution on our TFO platform and from there we don't really um, have a certain set of criteria uh, mainly because you know we, we actually um, interact with SMEs from various um, various stages and, and, and different walks of life and they from, come from different industries so um, for us it's really you know ensuring that you know the SME as well as the tech solutions um, they are matched properly and um, whatever solution um, the tech solution provider has, um, it actually solves a problem that the SME actually has. Yep. Okay, right. Okay, guys, we still have time for more questions, so just keep them coming. Once again, this is basically free consultation, so just go nuts in the Q&A, but make sure you leave them in the Q&A box once again, because uh, like I mentioned before, if you leave them in the comments, they could get lost pretty easily, so uh, I can see you guys talking to each other. Our next question is from Len Lee. Now, Lee would like to know, do you, uh, is there any collateral requirement for the SME loan? Hi, uh, Laurie, this is Pekchu here. Maybe I would like to take uh, these questions. So in regards to the SME loan, um, yes, we do actually have both uh, with collateral or with and without the collateral. For SME loan that uh, without the collateral, we are basically working, uh, we are actually a partner bank with SJPP that are giving uh, the loan with uh, SJPP back. So for those that collateral, that will be um, either the FD play, pledge or the property property pledge. Mm. So yeah, that's just my, my answer. Okay, lovely. All right. 
so far we don't have any more questions for now, but let's just give them a couple more minutes. But of course, I'd like to commend uh, everyone for this session, especially our speakers who have worked through a lot of technical difficulties. I know we had quite a few today, but uh, thank you guys for being steadfast. I think it was uh, a feat for sure. Um, but yes, thank you so much for that. And uh, we have another question that just came in. So this one is, what if I have a project in hand? How do I proceed to obtain a loan? Hi, uh, if I may just get the contact, uh, perhaps uh, we may actually reach out uh, to the, let me see the questions from, oh, sorry, no names. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, basically, uh, perhaps we can actually uh, uh, contact um, the, ca the, uh, the customer or the owner directly. If you may just drop us a contact for this query. Absolutely. So uh, to the person who asked this question, just go right ahead and uh, you can either contact them or you can uh, leave your contact details here. Either way, I think it's good that you uh, actually uh, built this bridge because I know obviously this question is important to you. So go ahead. Um, once again, to everyone from this session, how do we contact you again? Let's see. If you guys could leave your contact details in the comments, that'd be great. But uh, yes, I think we don't have any more questions for now. So uh, to the rest of you who are still watching, thank you so much for your questions. I think, oh wait, just as I'm about to wrap things up, another one comes in. Okay, so let's still, uh, let's still continue the session then. I was going to proceed the lucky draw, but sure, we still have time, so no worries. Uh, this one comes in from Azlina. Now, Azlina is wondering, um, do we need the capital to be more than 50K to apply? Hikchu, are you still here? Jamie, are you still here? We have a question for you. Uh, Lauren, I guess uh, we need to clarify whether Aslina question is actually referring to joining or applying the FinLab online or, uh, or loan application in this case. Perhaps we could cover both because we actually have time. So maybe you'd like to cover both aspects, both online uh, and the loan itself. Would uh, that be possible? From the loan perspective, um, we actually will look at the um, business operations um, in terms of uh, the number of years uh, the, uh, that's operate as well as um, the turnover, as well as um, the nature of business. I mean, we actually will require to actually do the entire credit assessment. So perhaps I may actually uh, direct this question to uh, Jamie to actually answer in terms of the FinLab online. Hi, Jamie, back to you. Thanks, Big Chu. Um, yeah, Aslina, um, actually with regards to this question, to join the FinLab Online, no, you don't need to um, you know, have um, a minimum amount. Actually, to join the FinLab Online, it's free. So, um, yeah, I think we are just offering all these to, to you guys to actually support um, all these businesses now, especially in this period during, during the COVID where you know, many businesses are struggling to, to survive and, and some of them actually struggling to actually go digital. Yeah. So yeah, for now we're definitely offering everything uh, on the platform for free. So please go ahead and do sign up for it. All right, fantastic. Now, Azlina, I hope that answers your question. Uh, Jamie and uh, Picture, I think we're gonna wrap things up right now. Uh, to the rest of you who have questions, once again, feel free to uh, message them. Uh, leave your com uh, your contact details in the chat box, and hopefully they'll get back to you. Uh, but once again, I'd like to thank everyone from this session. I know there was a lot. I think there were three speakers in total. Thank you so much for your input and for really just working through all the technical issues that we've had. I thought it was a wonderful presentation, despite all the hurdles that's overcome today. So kudos to you. To everyone who's watching, let's give them a virtual round of applause. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Take Two. Thank you. Thanks, Laureen. Um, if anybody else has any other questions, um, just pop it in the Q&A portion below. Otherwise, drop us an email at info at Thank you. Okay. Thank so you, everyone. To leave um, your uh, email. Once again, that's info at uh, thefinlab.com in the comment section so they can actually contact you. But thank you once again, guys. Exobytes. Grow your business online.